Good morning, friends, and welcome to episode 85 of Looking at Stamps. And as mentioned yesterday, I've been having a difficult time finding the Walt Whitman 3-ounce stamp that was released yesterday. And so since I'm going to be receiving it in the mail from my USPS.com order tomorrow, I will just share that with you on Monday. Uh, it's going to be very similar to the literary art stamps that we've seen already, uh, but I will share that with you on Monday. So we are going to continue with Authors Week and show you, share with you four stamps today, three of which are in the literary arts series and one which is not. So the first we're going to start off with, with is Thomas Wolfe. Many of you may not know of his works. He's somewhat of an obscure author. Uh, he's known primarily for, as a novelist. He wrote the book Look Homeward Angel um, and the book You Can't Go Home Again. He was known for writing about the Appalachians and North Carolina and many of his stories were written about and in Asheville, North Carolina. And so many of his antagonists and protagonists are from North Carolina. The early books are semi-autobiographical. Uh, this stamp was issued in 2002. This is Scott number 3444. The next stamp is one of my favorite stamps because it's one of my favorite poets. This is Ogden Nash, uh, primarily known as a poet. And upon his death, he was called the country's best known producer of humorous poetry. This is Scott number 3659. This was issued in 2002. And I didn't remember growing up that in school we had to memorize poems, uh, especially at the orphanage. I don't know what the purpose was, but uh, each of us had to uh, memorize poems and then recite them in front of the class. And I got in trouble because I chose an Ogden Nash poem, which was four lines long, uh, and it was called Celery. And I can still remember it to this day. Celery raw develops the jaw, but celery stewed is more quietly chewed. And that's it. That's the type of poetry that he wrote. Short, pithy, uh, full of puns. Still one of my favorite uh, poets today. Uh, it's Ogden Nash, 3659, issued in 2002. The next one is not a uh, part of the literary, literary arts series. This is the Dr. Seuss stamp, uh, the Theodore Seuss Geisel stamp, who wanted to show children that reading could be fun. This is 3835, issued in 2004. Now we get back to the literary arts stamps. This is Robert Penn Warren, another novelist that you may not be aware of. Uh, he's one of, I think he's the only person that has won multi-Pulitzers in two different categories. He won for fiction in 1947 for the novel All the King's Men about a Southern politician. And then he won for poetry in 1958 and 1979. He was also the very first U.S. Poet Laureate. And this is the Robert Penn Warren stamp. Uh, this is 3904 and issued in 2005. And a bonus stamp from the Literary Arts series is Longfellow and Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. This is Scott number 4124. This was issued in 2007, pri primarily known for the narrative poem. Uh, you may know the Song of Hiawatha and the Courtship of Miles Standish, but more importantly, you probably know him from the following couplet, Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. And that is 
Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. That's all the time we have for today. Have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. And we'll chat again on Monday. Bye-bye.